my god, that is disgusting. That's... That's been right next to me the whole time? So they needed... Hmm. I'm surprised that they needed an anchor in this world still, because I thought they were... They ascended, like, the needs of the flesh or whatever. But apparently they do for the, the conjuring they needed to be here. Jesus Christ, no wonder it smells bad. How long have they been here for? Walter? His body. It's tangled up in some kind of pipe. Should I investigate? N no, not yet. Like, what's with this fridge? Are those like medical supplies or something? Like IV drip or something? Because they definitely seem dead. I don't know what that'd be used for, and it's not like they can... I mean, do they get up occasionally to change their fluids or something? It's a bowl made from obsidian. That's the black cup. Yeah. The cult's Bible. A mortar and pestle. There's some kind of residue in it. What the... The hell is Walter doing in here? What were they dissecting in here? God, that is so fucking disturbing. Ew. Hmm. Well, I guess it's time to investigate. There's something in his coat. Yes. Look in his coat pocket. Sure. Keys of liberation. Ex <laughs> Extremely evil looking keys held by the corpse of Walter. Extremely evil looking keys. I love that. Is this the real Walter Sullivan? It smells terrible. I guess he's been here from way before I moved in. Ew. Ugh. These keys of liberation, they're probably for the front door. Right? How many locks are there? There's four keys. Uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, there's four padlocks and there's four keys. Eileen? So it's invaded the normal world, too. I have a... Sorry to cut them off. I have a question, though. We know it's through the wall. It's Walter. We know it's through the front door. What the hell's through here? What what is through here? 
I'm scared. Is this just like now a very bad place to go and I'm just gonna die? Oh. Takes me back here? Huh. Maybe that's just in case you missed something? Like you mix, uh, missed the pickaxe, or... Can't just leave Eileen all alone. Yeah, so it's just for you to be able to get here. Just this one room. Okay. So I have no need to go back there, I think. Okay, I uh, transferred a couple things in there. So I got rid of my revolver, because I feel like I'm a little bit off from another boss fight. Like, I still need the umbilical cord and all that before I enter some sort of probable final boss fight. So I got rid of the revolver and just took a bunch of the pistol ammo. Remember, I don't have any healing items at all. This is the only place I can go. This was Mike's room. The stalker. Okay, that's not fair. There's another one? Medallion. What is that? What the fuck is that thing? That's all new. It looks very similar to the other things, though. The hand-slash-feet look the same. It's not wearing the coat thing. I don't think it has two heads, though? I can't tell. It took a lot more shots to take it out, though. That's for sure. These look like these look like bullet holes, don't they? Like the sort of bullet holes you'd see in a, a sign or something like that. Yes, got to keep up my nutrition. Okay, Walter's somewhere in there. Cool. Please don't follow me in here, Walter. Oh, this is the... yeah, the painter's apartment. I wonder if my portrait has been finished now. Oh. That's new. Hmm. 
painting by the person who lived in this apartment. Wasn't my the blank painting right here? Well, actually, there's a couple of them. Yeah, the paintings don't look any different. Ooh. Oh, another sort of obedience. Heck yeah. Isn't that the fifth one? The fifth and final one? I remember a note that I saw a while ago talking about how good these swords are said that they, were, they only knew of five in existence. I think this is the fifth, right? Because we used one on each ghost. So Cynthia, Jasper, slash chocolate milk person, um, Andrew DeSalvo, and Braintree. Yeah, so this is the fifth. What was that noise? We can't get out of here? No, we can't. We can't. Don't worry. I saw Walter over there for a split second before the camera view changed. <laughs> okay, we're getting some healing items. Good. Hi, Walter. <laughs> oh my god. Quick shot. Oh, we don't we don't need anything. We don't need to waste ammo on him. I think these require two kicks, don't they? <gasps> Slash two shovelings. Okay. I think I can use one of these nutrition drinks. Yeah.
Yeah, I really gotta look in these rooms for supplies. God knows I need them. Surprisingly, not finding any ammo at all. Oh, this is the video game player's place. Walter's in there, there's probably something good. It could take a lot of resources to hit him till they fall down and I could stick the Sword of Obedience in. I'm gonna try running and just see what they do. Like, are they gonna follow me? I don't know where they are. Oh. Get him, Eileen. Wait, can we even stick the sword through? Oh, we can't. Right, this is the one you just need to, quote-unquote, kill him, and then they just won't come back for uh, a little while until you leave them, basically. Okay. Alright, that's not terrible. I went through one nutrition drink. As long as I find something like that or better, we'll find a candle. Oh. Breaking the wall. Excuse me. Eileen? Oh, what is that weird baby thing? No. This is Braintree's place. That boy. I feel so sorry for him. Finally, some ammo. so similar to those things. But it's not just those things without the clothes on. It's got the same hand slash legs, it does the same pointing thing, but the heads don't look the same. They're not baby heads, I don't know what they are. Sorta of angelic music. It's quite a change. took eight shots.
Oh, I've got no more inventory space. So we're near the superintendent's room. Just down the hallway a little bit. Ah, another candle. What are the candles for, I wonder? Are they still for my room? Because I can't easily go back there. Actually, yeah, I can't easily go back there. I'm not finding any holes back to my room. I'd have to... Uh, it'd be a pretty long run back. Hmm. Hope I brought enough stuff with me. Next to the nurse's outfit, a medical kit. What do I want to use more? A couple rounds of ammunition? Or a health drink? Ah, uh, uh, I'll use a health drink. Oh, an ampule! That's the good stuff. Ah, uh, okay. This is chained. The superintendent's place is chained. Okay. There are six chains in the way. I can't open the door. Trying to keep me from your mother's umbilical cord. Slash your umbilical cord. I guess it's kind of both of yours, huh? How do I get in there, then? There's got to be another way. A break in the wall somewhere? Wire cutters? We'll find something. Just want to check what's openable. Okay, the other wing of places is openable. The doors that weren't openable before last time I was here are still not openable. The hole in the wall here is gone. The tenant's lockers, but I don't need to mess around with them now. Yeah, used to be a hole in the wall, I think, like here. Oh. Yeah, there's no, like, shortcuts that just take you back to your room. If I want to get back there, I gotta go the long way. Damn. Sketchbook. Walter's father? You know, they've been trying to find their mother, but they haven't said anything about their father. Other than what we just heard in that hallway back there. They were, what were they saying, like, uh... I don't know, where are you, Dad? Something Dad, 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 Dad. Who is their dad? Hmm. I'm guessing that's a hint that we're going to be encountering the father. Is it the thing in the corner making that noise? Oh, shut the hell up! You can't blame it all on me. Oh, 
come on. Shut the hell up, you can't blame it all on me. Was that the father? The father's not like... Sutherland or something, are they? I, that'd be... Why would that be? I... Huh. Come on, Eileen. Eileen? It's terrible. That poor little boy. His parents just threw him away right after he was born. Who is his mother? I've gotta... <laughs> I've gotta help him. I mean, yeah, if we can help the young Walter Sullivan, sure, but the older one lost cause. Will the young one continue to exist when we kill the older one? the real body because when um, Joseph the journalist in our apartment came down from the the other world from the ceiling to a uh, lore dump on us yeah actually I think I forgot to mention that they said something really interesting about how their desire to see their mother and go to room 302 or something like that had like caused a, a split in their soul I guess kind of like what happened with Alessa? Split into two different people? Into their young self? And into their older, murderous self? That's cool that they make Eileen just stop following you, and you have to go back, and that's when it activates the cutscene. Like, they, got, they stayed behind because they saw the sketchbook. That's cool. Also, I only have one shot in my pistol left, so uh, that's a problem. <laughs> <laughs> 